Shantae, July 31st, 2021. 86 degrees. We are just outside of Sandersville. Should be about 11 o'clock. About 5 till 11. And we're going to go through Sandersville. Then we're going to turn around and go back. That way the sun will not be in our face going back. We'll still have it in our back. It should be good video. So we'll have to come back through this. But it doesn't look too bad. Looks like they're making a bypass. Or maybe not. You know, maybe not. Maybe it's just a good big intersection for a busy side road. and lots. Be interesting to know what houses are bringing down here right now. Okay, we're not going to be that long before we turn around and come back. I'm going to stop up here and I'm going to take that biscuit I got from Ingalls that I got her to wrap in foil and I'm going to put it up on the engine because I'm starting to get hungry. I'm going to put it up underneath the hood, under the hood on the engine and when we uh, start coming out, I'll, I'll get it out and I'll, we'll have lunch. I'll share my biscuit with y'all. Georgia 24 East and West, Georgia 540 East and West. We've just entered Sandersville city limits. I so I'm gonna stop right up here. I don't think we'll get to the nail. I'm going to stop up here and put the biscuit under the hood. And it, it gets them just right. If you've got hot dogs, if you, don't, well, you don't have to cook them, but if you've got hot dogs from the night before or hamburgers, if you've got a can of Brunswick stew or pork and beans, some, uh, a can of chili, anything that you'd like to have a warm meal, and uh, just stop 10, 15 minutes before you uh, want to eat find a good place on the engine where it won't bounce off or fall off or whatever and in 10-15 minutes you'll have you a nice warm meal. Okay, now when we get through Sandersville and start on the way back, if we're ready to eat, that'll be ready for us. It won't be too hot, like I said, the temperature of the engines, you know, the water circulating keeps it around 200 degrees. Just about perfect temperature.
Looks like Red Cross is having an event out there. So this is South US, I mean Georgia 15. They were working on that house, painting it, and maybe this one next to it. One time I was down through here. Been a fair amount of money spent in here renovating and keeping up. Looks like they started working on that one, but maybe not. A lot of lead-based paint on that one needs to come off. I love these little towns. They're just, they're really nice. Big, nice house there on the left. They're working on it. This is Washington County. I think, I'm pretty sure it is. Because I'm Washington EMC, so I'm, I'm sure it is. turn and go by the courthouse here. Oh, they're having an event here on the courthouse too. I'm glad they got some masks on because we're not supposed to show people's face where they can be identified. So. Police department there to our right. Nice house there. Nice little park here. City Hall. Right into the sun again. We will go to the right here. Go maybe one road or two roads over. Turn left and come back down that street right there so you'll be able to see that with the sun at our back. video of that flag flying one winter day. Police down there. Sheriff right there. Fox's Pizza. I don't think I've ever had a Fox's Pizza. I've heard they're supposed to be good then. Or I've heard that they are good. I guess it'd be the same franchise is what's in Athens. Twin City Auto Parts. Chapman Trading. BJ's Concessions and more. Okay, we'll turn around and go back up that street right there. Okay, we found the railroad track. I like the railroad track.
Now we're not going to go out here. We'll come up and turn around and then go back and go up the other street. You've had plenty of time to turn. I don't know what you're waiting on. Sandersville Railroad, that's still an active railroad, obviously with the cars there. Let's go on down a little bit further. That looks interesting down here. I love to find the industrial areas. There's a nice locomotive down there, two of them, three of them. Okay, we gotta have some pictures of them. Yeah, see, I'd love to have an old building like this. Or well, I say I would. <laughs> there may be so much hazard, hazardous material in there, it's condemned. Well, see, these are scales right here that you go over, and for whatever it is they would be weighing, weigh your vehicle before and after. tree there, that's real neat. We're just going to turn around here. Head back out. Before they run us off. That's a nice lot. Okay, we will go up here and if we can turn left, turn left and go through the city, finish going through the city. And then we will stop and retrieve our biscuit. Yes, see another one of these where they converted these old buildings to salons or either little apartments. People will live upstairs and have a little business downstairs.
we have got to get ahead on of that pastime, that shade of green there. Old movie theater. As many times as I've been through this little town, I haven't seen that. No faster than I drive, trying to keep on the lookout for stuff. You still miss very interesting things. Support our country. I like that wall. Movie and grill. Look at that. You gotta love it. You just gotta love that. Lodge Meat Market. Harvey Supermarket. I bet our biscuit is ready for us. Gas is 294 here in Sandersville. Got a Zaxby's, a Wendy's. This McDonald's, this McDonald's is the first McDonald's I saw. This has been about three years ago, too. The first McDonald's I saw that actually had the machines where you order yourself. And I think they only had one person behind the counter, so. These 50, they don't need many $15 an hour people when they have these machines. Okay, while the uh, camera was off, I stopped and retrieved the biscuit. And it is just right, I tell you what. It's perfect. That girl gave me a funny look. She gave me the crooked eye when I told her what I was going to do with that. <laughs> she, put the, she put the crooked eye on Ricky. Okay, I think we're coming up on the Tennille. I'll start another one. 